Today I want to share the hardest money manifesting lesson that I learned. And I really learned this the hard way and I already know that you won't like to hear this, but you have to hear it because it's so important and so essential when it comes to your ability to manifest more money into your life. And when it comes to saving money, I'm the typical German. I love the idea that I'm already retired. I love the idea that I never have to worry about money ever again. And I love to save money. Yes, the stereotype is 100% true. As a 30-year-old German, I can tell you that I constantly think about my retirement, that I think about pension funds, about investing, and about my savings accounts. That's just how we are wired. <laughs> That's just in our DNA. And even though this is all fine and dandy, saving money is great, saving money is amazing because it allows you to buy things that you want, it allows you to feel safe, it allows you to look forward to your future. Even though it goes completely against what you see so many business gurus on YouTube say who go, yeah, you have to take risks, take risks, take risks. And don't get me wrong, I also take risks, but I take calculated risks. Because if you want to be successful in business, it's all about minimizing loss and maximizing profit. That's calculated risk. I took a calculated risk by deciding to leave my old life, my office job life behind. I took a calculated risk by starting my first business. And I took a calculated risk by moving to a completely different continent from Bangkok now that I live in Timisoara in Romania. But there was a time when I didn't take any risk. And there was a time when I was obsessed with the idea of keeping my money. Whenever I was owning a little bit of money, I was holding on to it. I was holding on to it as if it was my lifeline. I didn't want to let go of it. I didn't want to spend any money. I was really obsessed with keeping all my money. And I didn't even want to spend it on healthy food. And as a result, I got sick. I got so sick until I finally realized, okay, that's the wrong path. Because I was so scared of losing money that I couldn't hold on to it. And this is the lesson I want to share with you right now. I was so scared of losing money that I couldn't hold on to it. Because if you cling to money, if you are needy, if you say, oh God, please money, don't leave me, then the money will flow away from you and not towards you. It's similar to a relationship. If you are in a relationship with an amazing person and you are needy, you are clingy and you go, oh God, please don't leave me. I need you. I need you. I can't live without you. It sounds so romantic in Hollywood movies, but in reality, the other person, if he or she is vibrating on a high level and if they are on a high level of consciousness, then they will move away from you because they can't deal with that. And the same is true for money. If you vibrate on the level of, please money, don't leave me. Oh, I have it now. Oh, I have to, I have to hold on to it. Oh my God, what if I lose it? Then you will lose it. And I lost it. I lost so much money in the most ridiculous and dumbest ways you can possibly imagine. I was never the kind of guy who made crazy, terrible investments or who had terrible spending habits. I was actually very frugal all my life, but I still managed to lose my money. I mean, if you decide, for example, to click on the link in the description and to find out more about my Money Manifestation Magnet program that I just released and that will help you to manifest so much money in your life. And I'm very confident that it will do that for you because I designed and recorded six guided meditations for you that allow you to manifest more money by taking you step by step through the process. And if you want to find out more about this program, you can check out the link in the description. And if you read this page, you will also find out a few ways how I lost my money, including a stupid, stupid car accident. So yes, it was completely random. I always lost my money in the most random ways and I never really knew why. I always thought, hey, I'm so good at saving money. I'm so good at being frugal. I mean, hey, I'm even eating three times one dollar street food a day and destroying my health. I'm so good at saving money. Whoop, 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 whoop. And of course, I was doing it the completely wrong way. Because nowadays I know that the universe is never random. And I had to learn this lesson the hard way. Because from a young age, one of my family members, who is very spiritual and who always tried to guide me on this spiritual path, she once said this one thing that I want you to really understand. And that took me a long, long time to understand. But I hope that you accept this new belief faster than I did. Because if you accept this new belief, only this belief, you will attract so much money into your life. 
Money is energy and energy wants to flow. This is the biggest money manifesting lesson that I had to learn the hard way and I want to repeat it again because it's so important. Money is energy and energy wants to flow. Now please don't confuse this with reckless spending. I still save a lot of money every month because it gives me an amazing feeling that I have more money in my life and that my bank account is growing and growing and growing and it gives me financial security. Even though so many business gurus out there say that security and safety it's all bad, yeah, da, 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 I don't agree with that. I agree with taking calculated risks and with jumping when you have to jump into your new life, following your true calling, following your bliss. But I also believe that when you have a lot of money, you feel safer, you feel more secure. It's just natural, it's completely normal. That's why I don't jump on this bandwagon and say, oh my god, all safety is bad. It sounds cool, it sounds motivating, but it's not really true when we really think about it in a logical way. So you don't want to engage in reckless spending and just buy this, there and this, even though you don't want it and need it. That's not the point. The point is that whenever you are in a position where you're connected to source energy, you should spend money and you should spend it in a way that benefits you. Because the more you hold on to money, the more you're obsessed with not losing money, the more money will flow out of your experience and not into your experience. Because from a law of attraction point of view, it makes complete sense. When you only focus on keeping the money, what do you focus on? You focus on not losing it. Your dominant vibration is, drumroll, lack and not abundance. And as a result, you will only lose money by trying to not lose it. It's as if you always focus on the negative things in your life and you say, I don't want this, I don't want this to happen, oh my god, I don't want this to happen. And then you complain afterwards because it happens. Well, you focused on it. Where focus goes, energy flows. And if you focus on not losing your money instead of attracting money and manifesting money and being the vortex that allows money to flow into your existence, If you only focus on not losing it, you will lose it. So why did I then just say a couple of seconds ago that it's good to spend money, that you should spend money on things that benefit you? Think about it this way. When you change your behavior and your mindset about the way you think about money and the flow of money, when you finally start to realize that money is energy and energy wants to flow and you let it flow, but you don't just let it flow in any direction. You let it flow in a way that actually benefits you. For example, nowadays I spend hundreds of dollars every month on high quality food. I eat healthy and as a result I'm so much healthier, I can concentrate better and I can provide you with more value. I also invested in myself by buying courses and by spending hundreds of dollars on a life coaching certificate. And in the end these investments paid off. By investing in yourself and by letting money flow, I don't mean that you should book a flight to Vegas and just gamble your money away or just buy 10,000 packs of cigarettes and smoke yourself to death. That's not what I mean by it. I mean that you should invest in yourself and let the money flow out in ways that benefit you. And then when you combine the benefit that the money creates in your life with the benefit of letting money flow out, without feeling guilty about it because you know that this money benefits you if you combine these two aspects more and more money will flow into your life and i mean over the last couple of months i spent hundreds if not thousands of dollars on coaching different courses and i mean just recently i bought the intensive workshop and the progressive workshop from dr joe dispenza and that was an investment of 300 dollars and in the past i would have never done that in the past i would have thought about it for months And now I made this decision in, let's say, less than 10 minutes because I knew that it will benefit me on such a high level. I used to be the kind of person who thought for one day or even a couple of days whether or not I should invest in something that costs less than $30. And let's be real here. My money manifestation magnet program costs less than $30. In fact, it costs way less than $30. And you get six amazing money magnet meditations. You get an audio course in which I reveal 55 mindsets of millionaires and so many other bonuses for less than $30. And all you have to do to manifest more money, and I'm serious here, all you have to do is to close your eyes, relax and listen to one of the meditations for 10 minutes each day. I know that you can do it, but I also know that most people who will listen to this will never invest in this program because they don't understand that money is an energy and energy wants to flow. 
I mean, I made it as affordable for you as possible because I'm already financially abundant with my other businesses. I could charge way, way more for it and maybe I should, but I want to give you the chance to get access to this information for the lowest price possible. And I want to be honest here, even if I might offend you. If you are not willing to spend less than $30 on yourself, on your personal growth, on your ability and power to connect with the universe and to manifest more money into your life, I mean, how can you imagine to ever manifest more money into your life? If you're not willing to let less than $30, in fact, less than $25 flow out of your experience to attract so much more money into your experience, then you won't be able to manifest more money. I'm sorry to say it, but that's the exact lesson that I had to learn the hard way and that I really want you to understand. And that's why I say it again. Money is energy and energy wants to flow because this changed everything for me. And nowadays, I don't even think about whether or not I should invest in myself. I no longer live in scarcity. I live in abundance. I live and breathe financial abundance. And the beauty about this realization is that once you realize that money is energy and energy wants to flow, your spending habits will change. You will spend money on yourself, for yourself, to grow, to experience more, to raise your vibration, and you won't ever buy something that's not good for you and that could lead you on a path to self-destruction. If you allow money to flow out of your experience for things that improve your life, for experiences that raise your vibration, for experiences that make you feel better and that also lead to more value in your life, then you will be able to manifest way more money than the money that was flowing out of your experience and way more money than you could have possibly imagined. And if you want to talk to me in person over Skype and you want me to help you to manifest more money, you want me to help you to raise your vibration and you want me to help you to accept yourself more, to love yourself more and to finally find this connection with your inner being and with the universe, then you can check out the second link in the description and inquire for your first Skype coaching session with me. And if you enjoyed watching this video, please send out some love to the YouTube universe by giving this video a big, big thumbs up. And I would also appreciate it if you would leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know what you think about my video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to click on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I release a new video for you.